What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more hardcore. I'm very excited. We're back with a brand new tune from my man Formek, aka Roberto Stramaccioni. Uh, I mentioned before, um, both as a producer and as a friend, he's helped me discover and acquire a great deal of hardcore in exactly sort of the styles that I was looking for for a few years. I mentioned it before, hardcore is a style. Uh, I've been fond of since the 90s when I first started going to rave parties and listened to electronic music. Um, but it was always sort of like a secondary style in the sense that, you know, when I first got turntables, I was trying to get acid techno and acid trance as much as anything else. And, you know, I did buy some hardcore records. I probably had like 15 from way back in the day. Um, but again, you know, I didn't have an unlimited amount of money and I had to make sort of choices about what I was trying to mix like more than anything else. So. Um, I had a few hardcore records, but around 2015, for whatever reason, I just kind of like, you know what, I really want to get back into hardcore again, and I started listening and, you know, trying to get some records, and I did, but some of them were kind of like more mainstream sort of hardcore, which, you know, I got a place for that, I'm not sort of elitist, and I don't, like, dismiss more mainstream hardcore or, like, modern style hardcore out of hand, it's cool, I dig it. Um, but yeah, I discovered a track by Formec in 2017, uh, No Mortal Ever, and it just blew my mind. It was like, wait, that's exactly the kind of hardcore, or, you know, one of the flavors of the kind of hardcore that I'm looking for. Um, and so through his tracks, I discovered, um, other tunes on Mocum and other artists like Danny Tribe and so on. And then I eventually met Roberto, and he's a super cool person, aside from his production and mastering. I mentioned before, he masters a lot of tunes, not just his own tunes for his own label. Um, so yeah, through him I've been able to get some records on Mocum and his own label uh, Overdrive and indeed on Cenobite. Um, so shout out to uh, Roberto for having a release on one of my favorite labels. Um, and again, he's, you know, if not my favorite hardcore producer, he's in like a three-way tie uh, with uh, Danny Tribe, his friend, and his other friend David Stella, uh, Slugnoid. So um, yeah, this is a five-track EP. I can't tell you how much it excites me that it's a hardcore record with five tracks on it. Um, super cool. Uh, so I didn't even really know where to start, but then I was looking at the label, or the names, the titles of the track, uh, and one of them is called From the Ashes of This World, which I just love the sort of, the kind of dark atmosphere and the sort of like, um, literary cachet of that line. It just has a really good sound, so that's where we're going to start. Uh, so this is Forma, uh, Formac from his Insight EP. Uh, the tracks were, um, they're credited 2021, but I believe this record just came out this year. So, um, yeah, this is Formac from the Ashes of This World on Cenobite, uh, 2021, like, copyright, you know, and uh, produced, but released in 2022. <clears throat> Five or thirty-three. I mean, we'll know very quickly. If it's forty-five, I apologize. No, I think we're good. Oh, just I mean. The kick drum bass line power just revealed in one moment. Also, that's it. I still feel myself. Always happens with hard work. Ask me like what kind of hardcore do you like? Like oh you know, kind of old school sounding, like powerful like kick and bass line combo, acid work, atmosphere. Check, 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 check. And also like a wicked synth line. Check. That like like every eight o'clock. Acid just simmering away. Great sample. Don't know what it comes from, but I 
I love the way the synth line is like true in some moments and then it's kind of like fragmented in other moments. Acid like peaking up again. Oh. of the the record and honestly I'll just you know I'm gonna react to them all here because it's interesting like I mentioned this before for years I get a new record and I just listen to all four of the tunes I'd like rip them into mp3s so that I can listen to them on my computer and make decisions about which ones I'm gonna use you know in conjunction in a mix and so on um, but you know in the last few months since I've been doing these reactions I've you know gotten records and when I've done it recently I've just been like listening to tunes for the first time in this context because you know when I do these videos I kind of force myself to think about and talk about tunes in the moment and after the fact um, and it's weird because I think it actually helps me as a DJ because it I start coming to an understanding of a tune a little bit earlier um, you know I think about different elements and I'm you know oh it reminds me of this sound or this synth and this other track and already I'm sort of like oh you know I could mix it with that I think that would work very well so um, it's been enjoyable for me to do this uh, with new records, so yeah, I'm just going to listen to all five of the tunes in this one, or on this record in this way, so uh, yeah, big ups to Roberto, uh, big ups to Cenobite, um, you know, again, it's like basically my favorite hardcore producer on my favorite hardcore label, it's, you know, you can't go wrong, so um, big ups to all involved, let me know what you think of this, other than that, I will see you next time, peace. <laughs>